This video is brought to you by TS4UIT Engineering Boot Camp. So the, the questions I have now, we, we, we do a lot of the web, the front-end deployment, our DevOps engineer actually, because there are many uh, the public facing of the application, uh, many is static uh, because that's the way the traffic is coming. Um, so I would like to know you actually the, the experience about the web servers. Yeah. Okay, so as for the web servers, we basically use Nginx all the way. So we use Nginx in multiple ways. So uh, for all of our front ends, we basically use uh, Nginx as our static file server, okay? So on our front end codes, we basically use React most of the time. So we just build our React project so that it gives us an optimized build file so that we can just serve it with any uh, static web server. So some of our codes, uh, front-end codes, are actually running in the S3 and with the cloud front, and some are running with the Nginx Docker image. So after building the code from the pipeline, the, all the front-end code, we build it, and then we just uh, use Nginx image to push that inside the Nginx image, and then we just uh, run the Nginx container in our Kubernetes cluster or our Docker Swarm cluster. And that is actually uh, our front end. Okay, so we use Nginx's uh, static file serving capability to uh, like serve our front end. And then from the front end, we basically need to reach our back end, right? So we don't have a load balancer in front of them since uh, uh, if this is our dev cluster, we basically don't have load balancer because it's just only one cluster. So uh, inside the uh, configuration, Nginx's configuration, we basically have the Nginx proxy pass configurations as well, okay? So with the Nginx proxy pass, we basically are able to route all of our backend requests from the front end server to our backend. So this is usually a load balancer's job or a separate proxy job, but since we're using Nginx for all of our things, we basically can use the Nginx's proxy pass features as well, so that Nginx is acts as a reverse proxy for us as well, uh, like uh, in parallel with working as a web server. Okay, so for all of our front ends, we basically do this. We have a default configuration file where we have the proxy configurations, where we have the like application deployment um, uh, build file serving configurations as well. And uh, yeah, this is the most of it with the Nginx. Uh, previously, we were using our SSL certificates with the Nginx as well. But for nowadays, our cloud environment, we basically use AWS ALB and use AWS ALB's SSL certificates as well. So we now don't have to manage all of our uh, certificates and SSL stops within the Nginx, but before we were using SSL certificates or the HTTPS with the Nginx as well. Uh, yep, yeah, so this is it with our Nginx. So we basically use Nginx uh, for all of our web server capabilities. Got it, okay, thank you.